Hi, this is Mike Mozart back again, bringing the coolest products yesterday and today. And right now I'm in Nintendo World. Oh, you've all wanted me to come here, and now I am. And I have filmed the whole place just for you guys. Wait till you see everything. You'll be so impressed. Hey, welcome back, everyone. This is part two upstairs at Nintendo World in New York City. Here's the big sign. It's halfway up the staircase. It's actually very amazing. Um, if you haven't seen the first video, which is all of downstairs, I really think you should see that one first. This is all upstairs. Now here's a peek downstairs from the staircase. Um, here they are filming the TV Land 100 places that you really need to see. And this is number 41. Um, Donkey Kong graphic. Here's a kiosk there for the Wii. And here's a bunch of Wii games along a whole wall. Now I literally filmed every one of these games like this. So if you really wanted to see them. But if I actually put these in, it's over half an hour just to glance over them all. There's a bunch of Kirby's in a little basket. If you want me to show all the games, I'll post them on my blog, but it's mostly the common ones. Uh, here's a Wii kiosk right in the middle of the floor. Here's a little girl playing it. Um, here are all the employees. There's millions there. They're very helpful, but they don't seem to be selling much because I think their prices are a little high, especially since you can go across the street to like Best Buys and get the games for half as much. A lot of older people playing. Uh, I ran into an older lady there that was actually playing one of the machines that was probably in her 80s and she begged me not to film her. She didn't want her grandchildren to find out she actually played video games. <laughs> she was too embarrassed for them to find out. I thought it was kind of cool. Um, ooh, um, free Kirby bookmarks. Ooh, yeah, I grabbed a couple of those. Um, oh, more of those sour candies here. More of the click dispensers. This is the register upstairs where you pay. And it wasn't very busy. No one was buying some keychains, $3.99. I didn't investigate them to see if there was candy in them. Sweet spin yo-yos. I have a bunch of those. I actually have a whole counter display full of those. More of those little click candies. All the little Mario ones are sold out of that display. Um, little pink pig purses with candy inside. You know, $5.99. Um, ooh, patches to put on your jacket. Various styles. I think they were free. I didn't see a price on them, but I didn't take one. Um, this is the extent of their museum. Here's the, the um, Japanese version of the original NES. I actually have one of these in gray and red. Um, here's the game watch, the panorama one. I have that, but it's Donkey Kong Jr. And it's orange. And here's a Donkey Kong Jr. game watch, but I have it. And here's a Game Boy that was damaged in the Gulf War. Still worked after they cleaned up the mess. Um, kind of amazing, and it has the whole story in the case and the guy's cap. Very interesting. I have this game watch, but mine's orange with a green face on it. Um, same exact watch. Um, I think everyone has one of these museum pieces. This was actually a very meager museum. Um, here's the Game Boy Light. I have two of these I bought on eBay about eight years ago, but I don't say Astro Boy on mine. Um, first color Game Boy system. I think everyone has one of these kicking around someplace. Um, game Boy Advance SP, another little common game. Um, game Boy Advance widescreen color one. I mean, nothing rare here for the most part. Here are some uncommon DSs. I couldn't really tell what they were. The glass was all dirty and scratched. And that backlight really screwed up the camera. You know, the Seattle Mariners one, Final Fantasy one. These weren't for sale. These were ones that are just in the cases with no explanation at all. This special edition is sold out. It's gold-plated. Here's the special Zelda limited edition pack, Game Boy Advance SP. It's gold-plated, signed by this gentleman that actually created um, most of the video games for Nintendo. He's the Steven Spielberg of video games, and he created all the Mario and Zelda games. Very interesting. Apparently, the Nintendo company's been making cards of various sorts since 1889. So they've been around a long time in this card business and have continued it today very successfully. Um, the advanced video system that they never made, which was the prototype really of the NES. You know, I don't have one of these. You know, it'd be hard to since it's one prototype. But oddly enough, I have three of these wireless controllers. One says Nintendo and two say Toshiba. Um, I got them from a guy that did trade shows. Here's an NES. See, you all have a museum piece right there. These are ads with the... Uh, um, DS's that these girls have. I don't know these two girls. Very attractive. Nice little DS's. They're not for sale. I believe that's Liz Tyler. If anyone knows the names of these girls, please put them in the comment section. Um, here is another section. It's mostly apparel and more girlish stuff. Um, Nintendogs. But I never saw these before. Nintendogs dressables. Very cute. Plastic was very wrinkly in those packages. Uh, mostly t-shirts, socks, and caps. I didn't really film a lot of these because they were kind of boring. Oh, there's the top of the elevator again. This section mostly had accessories like cases. Um, um, you'll see in a second. Here's another view with a register. Check out upstairs. Here are cases with the Wii's right in the center of this area. 
Um, there's so many on display in the store, I don't know why they bothered. I never do Nerf made this Nerf armor stuff. I don't know how I missed this. Guess I haven't been looking. I have a hard shell case for mine. Um, very nice. They have just about I like these little bowling bag cases for them. I never saw those before. A lot of ladies' purses, miniature attache cases. Like every case you can imagine for every one of them. Um, Wii controllers. A couple of them I never saw before. Ah, uh, look, look at this. Little Super Mario figures. And look at all the little Mario plushies. There are quite a few of them as a selection. I mean, look at all these Mario plushies. You know, it was hard for me not to buy a lot more plushies than I did. I mean, I only bought the the one Kirby, which I really liked, and I bought a little Link one, which I really thought were kind of cute, too. And um, they go on forever. There are actually quite a few of them. I think I filmed most of the ones that were available, but they were kind of all over the store. They seemed to use them as decor in spots that were empty, but I really think I got most of them. Um, which is your favorite one of these? Put it in your comment section, which you think are the nicest plush of all these plushes. It was hard to decide. All kinds of little cases and accessories. I just shot a little bit of this stuff. Um, this was kind of interesting. It was a girl's set, and it came with a purse. Um, game cases made out of aluminum, which were nice. You know, various styluses, which they sell really every place. Um, I'll buy more of the knockoff styluses. They make some really obscene ones. You'll be shocked. A lot of girls-type accessories. This thing caught my eye. I never saw this. Magic tube. I have no idea how it works, but it holds your DS game cards and two styluses somehow in that tube, in the little Nintendogs case. This is all the books they had. They had like six books and like two guides. They had two magazines. That's the extent of their books. The average GameStop has about 100 times more. The little RC Mario carts with all the different characters in them. They're sort of around, but they were cute. I was kind of impressed by this Nintendo Monopoly. Didn't notice it before. This is just a little turnaround of upstairs. They're all the Wii systems standing up. That's all free to play. The top of the elevator right there, looking out the window as well. Um, this is over the apparel department again, you know, where the Nintendogs are. There's where the accessories and the Wii was on display in the center. There's the checkout upstairs again. And um, I'm going to take a picture outside this window. Check this out, psychic right across the street. Now, if you look up, you can see that this is in a part of town with a lot of mixed architecture. Buildings from the 50s, look, 1890s, 1930s office building, brand new office tower. <laughs> Hey, if you like my review, please give me five stars. I'd really appreciate those five stars. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. It's that little yellow subscription button down there. You'll be glad you did. Um, I go all over the world, and I shoot all kinds of cool, interesting, fun toys and places for you guys. Oh, and don't forget to push that little blue word down there. It says Jeepers Media. Oh, you'll be glad you did. Over 110 cool, funny product reviews. Thanks again, and I hope you enjoyed Nintendo World.